So hello and welcome to this review and uh, this how to work with the Way keyboard. So for those of you who are lucky to have found this keyboard with the cable and the breakout box, uh, you will need to put the cable uh, between the box. In my case, it's a modular box 4C. Then you put the cable on the keyboard too, and you will need a USB cable uh, to put uh, to put it on your computer. Okay, so let's turn it on. Here, it's, it's booting up. You can see the information of the firmware, thing like this. It's boot up like this, and then you have to press uh, workstation three. That's where I put my configuration for the USB. So to enter the config, you have two layers. You have uh, first a layer like uh, the option of the keyboard. It's the soft layer. And another layer, another layer that is like a hardware hardware setup. And if you enter this second layer, it's more deep. And every time you quit this menu, it will boot up the keyboard. So first the the soft layer, you press the Alt and log off system like this. So you see you have like buzz of volume, buzz of frequency. You have a frequency of buzzer, if you like the buzzer. Oh, you can turn the display brightness. I don't know if you can see that uh, the brightness is changing, but it's uh, in real life you can really see it. You have clay, K click on or off for the buzzer, I think. You can headset. The headset, uh, you can put a headset on the back, I will show the picture. Save and load, I think it's for... Oh. You can, in save and load, you can uh, register macro. You can see here, save macro, verify macro. Save ktab, verify ktab. You can save and restore from the connector box. So the connector box has some kind of memory for keeping like a setting menu script save setup versus size setup and really I tried to save the macro but I couldn't make it work maybe you can and maybe if you can it will be like very lifesaver because you can actually register the macro display the macro with the custom name on it, it would be so cool okay so then we can exit here uh, you have like false attach. I don't know what that does. Show GMK page. So you can see. Exit. Um, macro keys. Yeah, I try to like uh, save the macro here, but uh, I don't understand how it works because I save it and I can't use it. I can I don't know how to like. Uh, to save it, so your FN program key, you put the program key you want, it lights up orange, it says enter legend, so you can put any legend. The story is too long, but never mind. Enter legend, then you can return, it's OK, delete, it will delete or escape cancel. So I press return. So it says enter macro. So I have to enter the macro. Look, the code, it will change. For example, I put like a control I here. And the sequence, it incremental in Excel. So it looks like it's recording a macro. Then to register the macro, I don't know how to do it. So 
what I do is I log off or I skip, which I don't remember. No, escape no, so I log off here and it said save macro. So there I return and it was orange and now it turns green. That's the principle of this uh, menu setting. It's orange when you select it, when it's active, and then uh, when it's green it means it's confirmed. So you have to always confirm uh, with the light, you can see it. And when the option is not available, uh, you can uh, see it's illuminated in red so I exit this menu okay so here you can exit with no save or equip with save so I keep with save okay so now we are like uh, in USB mode and it's not working oh, not good uh, what I do wrong so here I configure a CS2000 um, Workstation, it doesn't work on Windows. This one too is like Reuter, I think. And WS3 is the PC, but it's not working. So maybe it's on the comp on the box. I put it on the USB one. So now I'll put it on USB three. USB three, where is it? I put it in the USB 2, the USB 2 input. So here it is. And you can see now it's working in USB caps lock. There. It's registering Windows. Windows key. Okay, it's working. Okay, so now we will see the hardware layer, and that's where you need to go to configure it. So this you have to put add uh, graphic and control with log off system. Now you can see that the config is the hard part. You can config the host port. I don't know what that means. You can put the display light uh, in in the hardware layer so that when it boots up, it will boot at this uh, this uh, brightness. Uh, you have like a country version because uh, when I think when you enter the macro, it knows what scan code to go, to give. Uh, have the buzzer, the frequency. I don't know, and you have a lots of config. And really, I try to to configure everything. So if you want a working layer, I I suggest you copy this one because. Uh, there was uh, other layers, other settings that I used and I cannot make it work. It will not work in USB and only on PS2. So here is the config. I will go slowly one by one. So config focus port. I put it on RS232R uh, extend port and I put enable workstation 3 down. So I think if you want to put it in on uh, WS1, you click on this one. There, it turns orange and you can confirm, but I don't want to, so I will put uh, PS3 back and confirm with enter. It will turn green. Uh, you can, in this page, you can also go into, into the keyboard uh, setup. It means a communication port keyboard setup. Setup keyboard, so I press it. And you have the like parity, odd parity, even parity, the board. So here it's a 9600 boards. And I don't know, I tried a different one, but I I didn't know. You can copy this one, so look at the value of pause and look at it. So I, I will like uh, quit because I don't want to change it. It's working now. Uh, here we can go back with escape. So we config us now config uh, workstation 3 because that's where I put my uh, USB PC. But you can put your USB configuration on the config uh, workstation 1. Okay, like this. This is the config for, of a workstation 1, but don't do this. But I put like a BL0 emulation. I don't know what that is. And here it's like TTL CD port 1, 2. 
okay so don't don't do it but uh, just to give you an idea here what is the configuration you need to do above you would need to put like pc emulation on this page and on the on the here like uh, above it's like the emulation the software and on the back on the bottom it's like the hardware layer so here is like via the link external i don't know but that's like this i i succeeded to make it work so you have to configure your workstation button on this p simulation and via the d link external okay then here i think you have to configure the d link port okay so you config workstation 3 and now config um, d link port so in the link port, I think I put like RS232 extend port. Okay. You can see there it's like red. It's because you cannot use this, uh, these two ports. It says like warning port already used. But if you select the other one, it will change, you know, you can use. So we let it on RS232. Go back. For config I